Over the last few lessons, you guys have figured out so much about what could be happening in the biodome. We started off with the question of why were the plants and animals not getting enough energy storage molecules? And we quickly realized that the energy storage molecules were being made by something called the producers, or things like plants. They make energy storage molecules through a process called photosynthesis. Now, right away, we realized that there wasn't photosynthesis happening as often because the carbon dioxide in the ecosystem was decreasing. And this is one of the reactants in the photosynthesis chemical reaction. But to really understand what was happening in the biodome, we shifted our question to what exactly is causing the carbon dioxide to decrease? Throughout the last few lessons, we have been looking into how does carbon dioxide even get into an ecosystem in the first place? And we've realized that carbon dioxide is produced when producers, consumers, and decomposers are trying to release energy from energy storage molecules in a process called cellular respiration. So let's take a look at some biodome data about these different populations to see if we can understand a little bit more about why this cellular respiration is not happening as often and why not as much carbon dioxide is being reproduced. Here is data on the different populations in the biodome. In orange, we have the decomposers. In green, the producers and in blue, the consumers. Notice that this graph shows what is happening over the three first years in the biodome. I want you to analyze what this data might mean. Does it help us understand why not as much carbon dioxide was being produced? Does it help us understand what could have been going wrong in the biodome? Analyze this graph and interpret it using your understanding of where carbon dioxide comes from and how these different populations play a role. I really look forward to hearing your analysis about what is occurring in the biodome so far. If you need to use the digital model to further investigate what this data might mean, you can go ahead and do so. Use it as a tool to run some different possibilities and understand what this decreasing decomposer population might have meant for the biodome. How could this have played a role in reducing carbon dioxide in the biodome and therefore reducing the amount of energy storage molecules made?